In this video, we're going to add the last piece of our content management system, and that is how do I add a graphic to one of my projects? So let's open up our projects list and we'll start by creating one more column here. And this will be a link to a new file called projects underscore photo. Again, it's going to pass in the ID of the record we want to add a photo to. And I'll change the link to photo and just create one more empty cell here. So when you or an administrator clicks the photo button, it's going to load projects underscore photo, which is going to handle the photo uploading. Now, there are many different ways to do this just to keep it simple and basic and focused, we're going to do this in its own separate file. When a administrator chooses a photo for this project, we are going to receive the uploaded file, convert it to a base 64 string, and then place it in the database as text instead of a file on our server. So if I go to my database, go to the structure of my projects table, I have a photo, it's a long blog type, which will account for storing massive amounts of text. So to start, I'm gonna take my projects edit file and reuse this one. There are a lot of common concepts from the projects photo file we're about to make and the projects edit. So if I refresh my dashboard and now click on photo, it brings us to our photo page, which currently has our edit content. So let's just go through this and make some changes. So the if is set here, we're not looking for any post data. We're actually looking for another form related PHP variable called files. We want to know if a file has been uploaded and the file name we're going to use is photo. So if files photo exists, then the user has selected a photo and clicked submit. Now, we don't want to just update our table. Um, first, we need to know what type of file this is. So I'm just going to run a basic switch. Inside that files array is not just the photo information, but there is the type, the file size, there's a number in there representing whether or not the photo was uploaded to our server successfully. So I'm interested in the type. And I'm just going to run a quick switch. So if the photo type is a PNG, then my type is going to be simply PNG. If my type is JPEG, and this could come across as image JPEG or image JPEG with an E, then my type is JPEG. And lastly, if it's a GIF, then my type is GIF. And finally, if nothing else, if it's not one of those types, then we have a problem here. So let's just redirect our user back 
to our uh, projects list. Okay, now that we know the type, we can create a photo string, which is going to be data colon image slash, this is where we place our type, semicolon base 64 comma, and then the contents of our photo. Now, if you want to place a photo in an image tag, and again, not link an image tag to a separate file, but paste, place the actual photo in that image tag, this is the string we need to use. Now, next, I need to get the file contents of the image that was just uploaded. So the image that was just uploaded, which we have named photo, will be placed in a temporary location, and we can get the name of that file using this predefined photos array. Now, I don't just want to list the file name. I want to get the file contents. So I can use a PHP function called get file contents. Oh, sorry, that's file get contents. Okay, and again, I just don't, I don't want the plain contents of the file. I want this to be base64 encoded. So to test this out, let's see if when I upload an image, does that string work? Now, before I can see that actual file, I need to change my form to allow me to select a file. So I'm gonna train, create an input type file with the name of photo. I do not need to pre-populate this, so I can take that out. And I can take out every other form element except our submit button. And we'll change this to add photo. Now, lastly, and lastly, by default, forms do not handle file uploads. So I need to add an ENC type of multipart slash form dash data. Without this, the file will not upload, sorry, the form will not upload any files. So now I can reload this page. I can choose a file. So I've got a file here on my desktop and click add. And so what just happened there is the file was uploaded to our server. It was placed in a temporary folder. I used PHP to grab the contents of that file, convert it to base64, and then place it in an image tag. So if I view my page source, Right, you can see there's my image tag with the image directly in the image source as base64. So up until there, it's working. So go back to my upload code. I can now remove that testing code and I can take my update query and Again, keep going through this file. And again, just keep going through this file and switching it from users and project data to my photo. So all we wanna update there is my photo and I'll change this to photo has been updated. 
we will redirect back to our projects page. That is fine. I can change the title of this page to edit photo. Save that and refresh. All right, so it looks like that worked. And if I go to my database and click browse, all right, you can see now it's not showing the photo content there because it's a very large string, but it's showing that there is data in that photo column. So it appears to be working. To test it out, I can go to my projects list. I'm going to add one more column. And then in that column, I'm going to create an image. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that this record has an image because I don't want to display a broken photo if it doesn't. And if it does, I'm going to open up an image tag, source equals, and then in the source, I'm going to place that photo data. And now if I save and refresh my photo list, we get a photo from our database. And I can do a quick width in here, maybe 200 to make this page a little more usable. Now at this point, that page is loading a large image and displaying it uh, quite small. It's kind of uh, a waste of um, image size, waste of bandwidth. What you could do at this point is use a PHP library. I tend to use one called Wide Image, which allows you to manipulate images. And you can take the original image and resize it to a thumbnail before you place it in your HTML, just to keep your HTML file size down.